Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at series 13 of the Monster Jam Spin Master 124 scale series and this is a pretty cool assortment. A couple repeats with new variations and one brand new look for a truck we have seen previously. Today we are starting with the first truck of the four which is a grave digger that is pretty close to ones that we've seen in the past but here you can see we have a grave digger with beautiful graphics. I'll definitely start by saying that this truck is by far the clearest 124 scale grave digger graphics I have ever seen from Spin Master so far and you can see it's fully wrapped on the hood with the flames and the side graphics are completely legible as far as you reading the tombstones but they also did black shock printing on both sides of the truck as well as black headers and the classic green beadlocks over gray rims with black bkt tires and white bkt printing on the sidewalls so this is the first truck of this assortment not too crazy in terms of the difference but it is a pretty cool grave digger to have nonetheless so there is the first one it is grave digger and second up on the review list, it is another Son of a Digger. So we also get Son of a Digger in the assortment. This time it is a 124 scale version of the classic Nitro Neon that we saw way back in 2019, the first year of Spin Master in 164 scale. So this one has a super dark gray motor. It might look black on camera, but it's dark gray. It also has black rims with these bright blue tires with black BKT printing and its classic blue roll cage. It also has the full grill print, as I mentioned previously in other 124 scale reviews, they will be doing full grill printing on future Son of a Digger models from 2021 moving forward. So there is the full grill print on Son of a Digger, and of course the classic side panel and classic roof and hood. Since the time that they made this and now in real life, of course, Son of Digger is now sponsored by Hoonigan. So hopefully we'll see Hoonigan model Son of Diggers produced by Spin Master next year or in 2024. I don't know if or when they'll actually do that, but hopefully we'll see that soon because that truck has been completely updated with brand new decals across the entire truck. So anyway, here is the original Nitro Neon Son of Digger before the Hoonigan sponsorship for 124 scale for series 13. And next up is a brand new look for Megalodon. I really like how they did this one. It's super silver with silver tires, white BKT printing, black rims, a silver roll cage, black motor, and turquoise blue shocks printed on the sides. It also has the classic Megalodon casting body, which I still love in 124 scale. It's still one of the best castings as far as graphics and the casting itself goes. So there is Megalodon with that brand new silver and blue look. The only thing I don't like is that they probably should have done black BKTs over the silver just because it gets a little washed out with the bright colors. But I do enjoy how this Megalodon turned out. It's super cool to see it in 124 scale with a new color option and it's a cool variant to have. So there is the Megalodon, brand new for series 13. And now we have the first and only new truck of the assortment. It is the Aurelius Bakugan Dragonoid making a debut appearance in 124 scale. We got this truck way back in 2020 series nine in 164 scale as the special edition release of a faction Bakugan Dragonoid in Monster Jam diecast. So this is the first time we ever saw a variation of a regular Bakugan Dragonoid in Monster Jam diecast. Of course, it's become a theme now where every year we get a different faction Bakugan from the actual Bakugan toy line in the Moss Jam line. So this has now made it to 124 scale with the gold and silver theme. As you can see, the wings are silver and gold. We have the Bakugan logo, the Dragonoid logo, Moss Jam, the arm painted beautifully with the black, gold, and silver. The horn is also silver and movable with silver teeth, a green eyeball. There's the roof there with also really well done graphics and paint work on the roof with Bakugan, of course, and the silver tail with the rest of the decals there. And then we have a gold motor, which I also really enjoy. It definitely is a standout piece of the truck here with the gold headers and gold motor over the black roll cage with those same gold rims that we saw with the 164 scale model, BKT printing and black tires. So this truck is definitely really awesome. I hope they will do the darkest Neo and the inverse truck edition in 124 scale in the next coming years. But there it is, the Aurelius Bakugan Dragonoid in 124 scale for series 13. So this has been a quick review, of course, not too many new trucks except for this one, but I really have to say this is the standout of the case right here. I love Bakugan Dragonoid, and it's our second ever 124 scale of Bakugan, so it's really nice to have it, and I'm sure many people will be looking for this one. 
These are actually available right now for ordering on amazon.com. So that's why I'm releasing this video a little earlier than anticipated. So go check them out there. I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. And until that next video, this is Ryan Armstrong, CD, signing out.